Experience tranquility. Pass into the iris. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Iris Podcast. Thank you so much for your patience. I was dealing with the internet boss today, uh, and I won. So uh, I always win. What can I say? Uh, I'm Mr. Yeti. Joining me today, we have Thuggington, we have Apathy, we have NPC, and we have Thor. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, the final week of the regular season is now upon us, and it has been a fantastic regular season to this point. Uh, but for uh, some people, maybe not what they were hoping for. It hasn't worked out. We're going to touch on some of them a little bit later. Some of the teams fighting for their lives here in the elimination bracket. Uh, we're also going to have, at the end of the cast tonight, the announcement of your end-of-season award nominees, <coughs> uh, which we'll be breaking down a little bit later. But we're going to kick it off with a little bit different of segment. Normally we talk about Iris Top 8s, which Top 8's great. It's been great all season. Been really happy with it. But we're going to mix it up this season. We're not doing the top – or this round. We're not doing the Top 8. Uh, we're going to talk about some teams to watch that aren't one of the necessarily top teams, like the top two or so in each A tier bracket. Because let's face it. Who's the top team as a Discord tier? Well, I think Reminiscence is good. Well, you know, I heard uh, I heard uh, Quaka Queens is also a good team. Yeah, we know. We know they're good teams. Uh, so, oh, shut yeah. up. Ap Just Apathy. pick the undefeated teams. Ap and Apathy, put them in don't theater. even go there, bud. <laughs> what did I do? Look at chat. Look at chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. I, I saw it right away. I, I get a haircut for his TFT tournament, and it's just doesn't even notice. Doesn't even notice. Have but his, sure but his fiance noticed immediately. Today. His fiance noticed immediately. God, so, yet he's good looking. No, what can I say? <laughs> uh, God, I just, I just, I just, I'm just positively glowing. It's definitely not this freaking light that's glaring in my eyes. But uh, anyways, so <laughs> two hundred times the length, so I don't notice a difference in half an inch. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. See, fervor, fervor, fervor. fervor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's get this thing going here. So we're going to talk about some of these teams that aren't necessarily top teams in their bracket. So I picked a few teams that you can't pick for this, but I want the analysts to uh, a few of the analysts here to pick a team in each tier that isn't one of those top teams that they're paying attention to that they think could make waves come playoff time. So we're starting the harmony tier, and I said you can't pick Chrysalis, you can't pick Palm Beach Poggers, you can't pick Koala Kings, you can't pick Flashbacks. So what other harmony tier team are you watching most right now? We're gonna start it off with Thuggington. Uh, who are you looking at? Um, I am looking, and this is this is zero bias. This has nothing to do with a possible donation that I've received to my charity um, from two people on the podcast. But Big Bang Buccaneers, man, uh, this is a team that. It's probably going to surprise people. I think they've flown under the radar all season long. They've been sneaky good. They've been sneaky clutch. That support lineup is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Bagel Friend has been absolutely nuts all season long. And I'm just excited to see what they do. Once they get into the playoffs, how far they go. I think there's a lot of people going to look into the next week and overlook Big Bang Buccaneers, which will be a mistake. All right, then. Uh, how about the DPS line, though, Apathy? Uh, <laughs> I don't I mean, know what okay, he's honestly, yeah, the DPS bro. lineup, there is no bigger yin and yang than <laughs> Apathy and Mr. Yeti. I mean, <laughs> those comms, they'd be like, um, I killed six. Yeti's like, oh, oh, I stuck a pulse bomb! <laughs> okay, all right, let me tell you how that's wrong, first of Okay, foremost. Yeti has never stuck I've a never pulse stuck a pulse bomb <laughs> on anybody. Wait, Yeti, Yeti, will, Yeti will kill himself with a pulse bomb. Second Got of one. all, I'm usually the one killing six, not <laughs> Thank you. It's just because Junkrat B go burr and stuff. So. And I'm pretty vocal. It's true. Here. It's true. It's just not, yeah, he's, it's, yeah. it's a different, different kind of people. vocality. It's a different kind of yeah. vocality. He's not as much of a spaz as I am, for instance. No. So, all right. <laughs> you don't even fight that. Um, <laughs> all right. N NPC, which team are you watching out for? I'm looking for Sky Guardians. Um, just a really good team overall. Uh, I love seeing the Dallas Fuel Skins coming out of Milo. Um, oh my God. You know. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, Bubba Wyatt even ditched the Houston Outlaws skins. So, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta go with uh, Sky Guardians. Oh, that's. I actually, have to do it. 
That's I'm actually contractually obligated. Those wondering, can, those wondering, every, by the way, that's delicious. I don't know why, but that is actually yeah. delicious. It tastes like key lime. I'm not even. It tastes like lime. I, I don't. It does not taste like grass. It tastes like lime. Um, it's delicious. Um, <laughs> anyways, sorry, I digress because I was really not looking forward to this because you guys are assholes on Twitter, but mm. that's delicious. Uh, Apathy, your team, you're watching. All right, so the team that I am watching is the Miami Yikes. Uh, <laughs> I think they've been... He's giving up on the Foxes. The, the foxes. No, I just... Everybody knows. I have to change it up sometimes. Uh, I'm looking at the Miami Yikes. I think they've been a, good, a solid team all season, and I really think that if they can master another comp than like the two that they've stuck to so far, that they can become pretty threatening. And I mean, they are good at that one comp. Like, it's okay to be one tricks if you're good at it. But if you learn a second comp, I think you could make some waves in the playoffs. All right, let's move it over to the Discord tier now. Again, the ineligible teams are uh, Waka Queens, Echo Fleet, Reminiscence, Seal Team Spuds. Let's take them out of the equation entirely here. Uh, what teams are you watching? We'll go back to you again, Thug. Uh, who do you got here? Um, I put the Jalapenos, Spices. Um... Once you get into playoffs, things get a little more spicy. See what I did there? Please make it stop. Um, <laughs> it takes it, it, it's a, it's the playoff mentality. It's the the winner you're out kind of a thing. That entire team is stacked with people that either had won the championship with Holy Jalapenos or with the uh, old Habs. So it's it's people that have been there before. They know what it's like to play the playoffs, to to lose or uh, to win or go home kind of a deal. So I think people kind of overlook it. That's one of those uh, what's the hypotheticals? No, hyper no super superficials hyperboles. Hyperbole. Yeah. Thank you. That's not right. But um, on about a You know what? Uh, yeah, that's that, it. That's that's <laughs> some, that's, some that's some first fun. that's some first intangible stuff. Intangibles there, so. is the word I was looking for. Intangibles. <laughs> so many words. Intangibles. Right. I I read a lot of cards this morning. Thor, who are you watching here? Uh, so I had to go and give some love to Domination. Um, so I had a really strong showing in first week. Took a map off of Echo Fleet. Um, and we all know like how Echo Fleet's kind of become a powerhouse over the last yeah. couple of weeks, taking Quaka Queens 4-0. I know Quaka Queens was making, missing a couple of players, but still nothing to scoff at. Decide, because Quaka Queens has a full roster of 10 people. So even they were missing two people, they still had eight people there. Um, and, you know, coming out and taking care of business last week against uh, Excalibur in, uh, I think they won 2 1 1, something like that. They had a draw on there, thrown in there. So um, definitely looking hot right now. Um, but um, they've got a big match coming up this week. So if they can finish out stage two uh, going 3 and 0, I believe that puts them in a top for seeding if i'm not mistaken my math is probably incorrect because i'm terrible at it but um math is hard yeah so but anyways um no excuse me they would be two and one they, they wouldn't even be three and out so i can't even count to three apparently but um but definitely go the, if they can get the win this week um you know keep that maintain that momentum heading into the playoffs i see good things in their future so a team that i'm watching that i've talked about quite a bit is paradise lost i'm still super high on that team um, they're really talented. You look at their first stage, they barely lost to two very good teams in Mark III and Echo Fleet. Um, right. And then they kind of rolled through the rest of the stage. Um, a few of us here have played against them, and they can attest, that's a good team. And I think that's a team when it comes to playoff time, if you're one of those one or two seeds and you have Paradise lost on your side of the bracket, you might get a little nervous there because that looks to be a bit of a giant killer going in this season so i'd really watch in uh paradise lost right now uh let's go over the transcendence tier again you're in eligible teams the top two in each division right now so that's uh gdh and devil dukes and alpha and dirt uh npc who are you watching uh i'm watching the decapitators and i'm gonna tell you why by listing the roster no <laughs> actually not really <laughs> i actually have i actually have data for this i actually have data for this i mean here's the deal they, they, they four owed cobalt and okay you're thinking yeah okay they, they four owed cobalt right they lost four to alpha okay we kind of expected that too they they, they, they took four over skybox uh, they took a three one over bird society they uh, went three two against NYA. They two to three against NYA. They, you know that was close. Uh, they squeaked it out over Devil Dukes, which are an ineligible team. They took one map off of God Hand. 
Uh, I, I, I think that's, I mean, they're nothing to scoff at. They've been flying under the radar so far because they're a potato org, but I, I think they're, they're, they're a legit threat. All right. Apathy, who are you watching? I went with the SS Cuttlefish. Um, despite being 0-2 right now, and they've definitely got a tough match up ahead of them <clears throat> this week. But their first two games were basically five mappers like celestial wind was two to one to one but like you know they were they were playing they were within one map of winning basically a three two uh so they were five mappers and they were both against very very good teams so they didn't pull out in the end but that's still a team that i'm looking at despite the record i think i think ss cuttlefish is a great choice there uh thor who are you looking at here uh, I got to go with Not Your Average Academy here. Uh, really coming out strong here in stage two. Take care of business uh, against Manifest in week one, three, two. Now, the, I mean, they've won their last two matches, both going to five maps, but probably right. against the biggest competition that they had in their group going into stage two here against both uh, Manifest and Amnesia last week. So if they take care of business against Atlas Arcadia this week, that puts them a 3-0 and in stage two red hot going into the playoffs um and especially with their recent uh free agency signings they're picking up lasley they got canlasis off rolling so i'd watch out for them all right guys that is it for our teams to watch right now uh we're gonna get to our montage uh here actually we're gonna we're gonna we're going to move that a little bit later in the cast here. We're going to do our next bit first here, guys. Uh, we're going to do our montage after this next segment here. So basically, as I said before, guys, your elimination pool teams, this is their last week. It could be their final week here in Tranquility this season, guys. So uh, we are watching them very carefully. Uh, and whoever is clicking on the th outline, please stop. It's actually, it's actually really <laughs> distracting. I am, I have the attention deficit of I'm losing my mind. Please stop. Uh, sorry about that, everybody, but um, that's the Quaka Queens. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> it's anonymous Quaka. Yeah, I know. Of course. Davino, stop it's, it wherever it's, you it's are. always, it's always the Quaka Queens. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, let's get it going here, guys. So, Talking about the elimination pool teams, basically we're going to break down right now which teams are going to win, which teams are going to stick around, and which teams their journey comes to an end this season. So we're going to get this going as SEP redeems all of their giveaway entries. Um, <laughs> in, the Har now. in the Harmony tier. So you have seven teams left in the Harmony tier right now uh, at elimination pool. Fire Breathing Rubber Duckies and Phoenix Rising, they'll be playing each other. They both have already qualified for the playoffs. So they are both locked into the boring. playoffs. I know, boring. Nobody wants to predict that match. That match is going to be dumb. Uh, <laughs> the next <laughs> uh, the next match, Fighting Potatoes versus Turbo Throwers. Winner of that match goes to the playoffs. Losers going home. Then you have Boop versus Fahrenheit 972. <clears throat> Winners going to the playoffs. Losers going home. And then you have Squall, who unfortunately is already eliminated. They're on the bye this week as well. Uh, so Sad. they are unfortunately mathematically eliminated uh, from the tournament already. So, uh, But let's break it down, guys. Which of these uh, four, uh, we need winners in each match. Who's going to come out on top here? Who's going <clears> to <throat> win these? Let's start off. Thug, who do you got? Um, in, in Fighting Potatoes versus Turbo Throwers, I have the Fighting Potatoes winning this one. Dude, it is tater season here in Minnesota. The harvest has started. <laughs> Taters are strong. It's a good crop this year. I'm feeling it. Even though there was a little bit of a drought, they're here and there's such a strong root vegetable. That, metaphor, that metaphor broke down. If, if it's harvest season for potatoes. Yeah. That, you know, I'm going to move on. Okay. All right, moving on. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm just <laughs> probably for the best. <laughs> the grocery right. stores. For, the probably house. for the best. Uh, boop. It's okay. In, in in the notes, I had Boop winning, but I just did some roster stuff for Fahrenheit. Um, I'm switching it to Fahrenheit. Caden's coming out of retirement. Uh, she's a very strong player, and I think she's might be able to tip the tables. She's a uh, good, strong mental. She can lead a team, and I think that means quite a bit. So uh, I switched mine. Let's go Fahrenheit 972. Let's go. Plus, they have Dallas Fuel skins. That does something, right? Yeah, Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. OP. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah, As yeah. I've heard. The At entirety of Twitch chat has a collective sigh every time you mention Dallas yeah. Fuel skins. <laughs> Apathy. Who do you got coming out of this one? Uh, I am in agreement with Fighting Potatoes. Uh, they're a good team. Played them twice this season. 
think they're definitely one of the favorites to make it out. And then I actually went with Boop originally. I did not have the inside knowledge of knowing the future roster choices. Tier director. Uh, but I think it's I think it's still going to be close. I I might still go with Boop, but I I think it will be down to map five. Depends on if NPC plays or not. If NPC uh, gets released like he wants to be, then I think Boop will win. <laughs> Gotta release me, please. They gotta release him. They gotta <laughs> release him. Uh, NPC, what do you think here? Who's gonna come out on top in these matches? Well, well if I'm if I'm not released and I play DPS, they don't stand a chance. <laughs> That's okay. Lock the Reaper. Uh, but um, no, seriously, uh, this this is a tough call for me because I, I I really have like both teams are very close to my heart. Um, I, I hope they both have a good time, and unfortunately, one of them has to go home. For, for Boop and, and F972. So I, I, I went with Boop on the sheet. Um, I, I feel like they've been playing together a little longer. Sure, they made some roster transactions here and there. Um, you know, F972 did. But I, I feel like they've been playing together just a little bit longer and have a little bit more cohesion. Um, as far as Fighting Potatoes and Turbo Throwers... Turbo throwers are living up to their name, man. They're, they're throwing faster than anybody else. So I think it is potato season. <laughs> thrower season I, I don't know thug messed me up See, it didn't work it didn't work i just like potatoes let's just okay. move it. Let's, just go like to, let's just okay, go to yeah. thor and spare everybody else this, <laughs> this horrible horrible <laughs> horrible whatever that was yeah <laughs> so yeah I, i'm gonna go with uh i'm gonna go with the taters as well uh, unfortunately turbo throwers just haven't shown me anything all season and i'd kind of be a fool to pick against uh, to pick them over the fighting potatoes who have at least had moments where they've looked um, like uh, contentious, right? Um, and then I actually went with Boop over Fahrenheit 972 um, simply because they have NPC on their team and hopefully he doesn't get released. So that way he can carry and just kill six every single team fight as DPS mm -hmm. Mario fading into the back line. Mm hmm. Uh, I went with potatoes as well. No bias. Uh, I also went with uh, Fahrenheit 972. Uh, I did that before the roster changes. Uh, and now I'm even more happy about that. So uh, bringing Caden into the fold as well as Geralt as well. Um, that's a, that's going to be nice. That's going to have a pretty nice roster here. So I'm excited about that. Uh, Let's uh, let's go to the Discord tier now, guys. Uh, Discord tier, we have uh, eight teams left in the tournament. Uh, it's only a few still in the running, though, however. Uh, we have Maelstrom and Flying Lions playing each other. Both are already eliminated from the tournament. Mathematically, they cannot qualify for the next round. Uh, Reckless Sigma and Ragnarok Freya, both teams have already qualified for the playoffs. They'll be taking on each other in a bit of a bragging rights and seeding match. Um, and then the last two matches are simple enough. Winner goes to the playoffs, loser goes home. Valkyrie is taken on Wildfire, and Ulta 4 is taken on Chicago Chaos. All these teams have had very different stories throughout the season, but Thug, who's going to come out on top in those two matches? Um, from Valkyrie, Wildfire, I, I give it to Wildfire. I think it's just a stronger team overall. Um, Valkyrie struggled quite a bit um and i know internally they're they're having some issues as well so i i pick wildfire i think it's a team that's gonna move on from them and alt f4 and chicago chaos it's easy it's alt f4 <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiots <laughs> <laughs> please win <laughs> apathy who do you got coming out of this uh i'm in agreement i went with wildfire and alt f4 um I was expecting, I don't know, this one's this one's pretty close. I think Alta 4 versus Chicago is like the more difficult one, just because you never know which Alta 4 is showing up week to week. But uh, I'm hoping that <laughs> yeah, if, the, if Thug's not there, if you got to like, six, if Thug Alta misses this. Shows up, we'll be good. So just a stat for everybody here. So Alta 4, when Thug is there, is what's the record, Thug? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was that, was that, did you say 0 and 4? <laughs> sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry and honestly it's not your fault it's not it, it, the team is better with no i made him sad <laughs> uh this is why he, he keeps quitting the podcast this is why he keeps <laughs> <laughs> this is it. yeah right is that true thug <laughs> What? This is why you keep <laughs> this is why you keep quitting the podcast. 
It's the verbal abuse. Uh, that's what it is. Oh, come on. We get that every day. It's that's like a true. bunch of first graders true. up in here. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and NPC. Uh, or, I'm sorry. Apathy. Did, I was too busy making fun of Thug. Uh, no, you, I think I'm yeah, done. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, yeah. NPC, uh, what are you, what's your picks here? Uh, you know, I. it's 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 going all the way the same thing i'm going wildfire over valkyrie uh i just feel like they're they're a better team they've been more cohesive and then uh alt f4 over chicago chaos i i'm picking alt f4 for the meme i thought i was but apparently everybody else agrees with me so let's go i, I want to see alt f4 me too yeah, I'll still take Me it. too. I would Thor. love to win. <laughs> Thor. Win, win a lot of lotto, bro. Thor, win. Who, do you, who do you got this one? Yeah, it, it's looking like we're all on the same page here. Um, I had to pick. Uh, I, I went and picked Wildfire against Valkyrie as well. I think as long as the University of New Hampshire Wi-Fi doesn't like shit the bed while they're playing their match, I think Wildfire should be able to pull this one out. Um, and then I picked Alt F4 simply because they've won a match. Chicago Damn. Chaos hasn't. That's Damn. it. Techni- I, yeah, by, by rule, technically, you're correct. Oh, have you? Have you won two? Oh, my bad. They won my two. bad. Yeah, they've, I've missed two matches, and they won. Them <laughs> that explains everything. I, I, didn't, I didn't even say that one. That was you. <laughs> uh, I also picked Wildfire. I think Wildfire. I think Valkyrie's just been too inconsistent. I think Wildfire is ready to uh, take the step here and get in the playoffs. And I went with Alta 4 because I heard through the grapevine that Thug is going to be out sick on Wednesday. So, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, it even, is against even, the rules. It is against the rules to bench players. To Australia. Even no, it's even my with, internet's going to get even cut. Even with Thug, <laughs> even with Thug, even with Thug, they still win because I am still a believer in Splinter. Just saying, Splinter is crazy. Dude, Splinter's nuts, no lie. Yes. Splinter. Yes. Yes. Also, his name is awesome. Uh, all right, guys. Transcendence tier is interesting here. You got five teams left. One of them already qualified, sitting at 2-0. and And I got to say, I called it. Skybox, sitting at 2-0. and They're on the bye this week. They're going to 3-0. and They're going to win the elimination pool. And remember when everybody was saying, when I said Skybox, they're going to do it? And y'all were like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right. Anyways. Uh, and then Whirlwind Wildcats is taking on Battalion, and Doomsday is taking on Council of Anime Girls. Here's the deal with this one, guys. Three of these four teams are going to qualify for the next stage. So there's going to be some map differential going on. Basically, what it boils down to is if you win your match, you're going to go <clears> through. <throat> if you lose your match, you're going to need help from your opponent, from your other the other match to see how the – map differential works out it's it's unpleasant you don't want to rely on your uh, opponents to have to win for you by a certain threshold in order to make the playoffs right now so the question is whirlwind wildcats doomsday battalion council of anime girls which of those four teams are not going to make the playoffs thug who do you got um council of anime girls i just it doesn't feel like they're actually trying uh, and you have to try to actually win matches in Overwatch sometimes. Um, yeah, I just, I just, I just don't see him getting the W over Doomsday. And I think That's Doomsday right. is hungry too because they just yeah. got here. They want to prove yeah. something. Yep, they want to say like, "Hey, we're here. We're ready to, to rock and roll." They kind of got seeded low because of it, but I just, yeah, I think Coag's going home. Uh, Apathy, who do you got? Well, I brought Professor Apathy back out. I'm just looking at the map <laughs> differential. I'm pretty sure Whirlwind Wildcat like. Battalion has to 4 0 Whirlwind Wildcats, and Coag Doomsday has to go to a 3 2. And that is the only possibility where Coag is safe. So, mathematically, I went with Coag. God, how astute of you. <laughs> uh, NPC, who do you got? Uh, weebs, go home. <laughs> <laughs> no Ubu. No Th- Ubu's. Thor, who, do you, who are you leaning towards here? Uh, I'm going to go with a spicy take here, and I'm actually going to say Whirlwind Wildcats are going to get 4 0 by Battalion this week, and oh. Coag is going to come out, and they're going to get the W, and they're going to send Whirlwind Wildcats back. And... It's not outside the <laughs> realm of possibility. We've seen Whirlwind Wildcats drop some. Uh... Unless Drop. battalion, unless battalion gives them another forfeit loss. Yeah, that's, win. exactly, <laughs> exactly. You can't rule it out. 
I'm torn. I was really torn on this one. I ended up settling on Council of Anime Girls because I think I do think they lose to Doomsday, and I think the map differential is going to be too much to overcome. But at the same time, you never know. Like this this bottom end, there's so much inconsistency with all four of these teams that any one team can just throw and it's over. So it's so hard to pick one of these teams because I don't know right. that there's really much. I mean, other than Doomsday, what? I mean, it's hard to pick any of them. You know, Battalion had everybody had such high hopes for Battalion, especially after they added Pro Gamer. A lot of people thought that team was going to be a lot better than it ended up being, and it's just been struggle bus the whole way through here. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, guys, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to go to the montage right now. This montage this week was edited by edited by Nagi. So uh, let's go ahead and get that started. Get your entries in. Giveaways, oh, entries, giveaways, entries. Do it now. <laughs>
Thank you very much, <laughs> Nagi. And nice little flex at the end there with two of your own clips at the end, gotta say. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But hey, you get a 6K. Save the best for last. You get a 6K, you can, it warrants, uh, it certainly warrants. I thought the best warrants. clip was like the third one. <laughs> Just the third or fourth. Hey, all right, all right, Apathy, okay. All right. <laughs> no bias. No bias at all, guys. All right, guys. Uh, I know a lot of you have been waiting for it, so we're going to go ahead and get it started. It is time for your end-of-season award nominees. So the way this worked is we had every team GM, well, the majority of them. Some of them failed to submit them. Uh, but the majority of them submitted their nominees for each end-of-season award. Uh, that is best main tank, best off tank, best flex support, best main support, best projectile player, and best hit scan, along with most improved player and best coach. They submitted their own team's members for nominees for that. We had a committee of people pick and narrow it down uh, to a final eight nominees. And from those eight, we will narrow it down to your award winners. So tonight we're announcing the nominees. And in about three weeks uh, is when we're going to announce the award winners. So tonight is your top eight for each category. And uh, we'll have one of our analysts weigh in on each category, pick out a, uh, a favorite for each one. But we're going to start it off in the Harmony tier, uh, and we'll kick it off here with the best main tank nominees in Harmony tier. And we'll kick it off with Jewish Missile from Big Bang Buccaneers. Josh from the Jetpack Cats. Then you have Jeffbot from Koala Kings. You have Chobi from Chrysalis. From the Flashbacks is Smoke. Going to the Jersey Boys, it's Godzilla. Palm Beach Poggers Traffic. And last but not least, from the Vanguard Spartans is Zorthcon. There is your eight nominees. NPC, you are, as I know, uniquely qualified. Mm-hmm. We're doing this again. So can you yes. tell us a little bit about your favorite main tank picks? Uh, you know, it's so tough. This is, this is a, this is a pretty stacked roster. Uh, Jeff bot Jewish missile. Fun fact. The first tank I played against in tranquility and just blew me away with some of his Winston. Tech. He's also I on was... the joysticks, by the way. Just oh, wow. Team. The controller. Uh, do that to yourself. Pickle in the sticks. I like it. Um, <laughs> but all in all, I, I went, I went Godzilla from jersey boys just the sheer aggression coming out of grod all the time uh i i I gotta respect it as a main tank player if you're not pushing shift you're not playing the game definitely true let's kick it over now to off tanks in the harmony tier uh kick it off first with kemi from the koala kings then from miami yikes is turtles from sky guardians bubba wyatt then from chrysalis is hydros Next, from the Luminous Foxes, NRFT. From Flashbacks is Schuster. From the Palm Beach Poggers is Ricky, 6334. And then from the Vanguard Spartans is BB Nikki. Uh, gotta ask, who do you think's coming on top here? Apathy. I went with Kemi, um, just because I think that they're the most well rounded. Out of all the uh, like off tank characters, um, they're not like the best diva or the best sigma, for example. But I think they're like an A tier diva sigma hog Zarya type thing. So I went with Kemi, and the comms that they bring seem to be important for that team now that Navino's <clears throat> gone as well. Kemi, a very good pick and a very good loaded category. There's a lot of potential winners mm-hmm. in that one for sure. Uh, let's get it over to your hit scans now, and we'll kick it off starting with Blinded from the Jetpack Cats. From the Koala Kings is Sergeant Pepper. Then from the Miami Yikes is Stonky. From Sky Guardians, it's Milo. Back to Chrysalis, you got Retro. Next, from the Luminous Foxes is Commercial. Next, from Flashbacks is Anguish. And then last but not least, from the Vanguard Spartans, you have Whittle. All right. Uh, Thug, who do you got coming out of this? Who's your favorite? This was a tough one. I I kind of, it was a toss-up for me between Blinded and Anguish for a lot of it. Um, But I'm going to go with Blinded from Jetpack Cats just because of bragging rights purposes. I mean, like, what a 1v1 champ. Come on. Yeah. I got to give you, it's, it's, 
it's a feather in the hat. It's a little uh, little thing on your uh, resume. Toss it on your college application or whatever. <laughs> Just saying, man, it's it's prestigious. <laughs> college mm-hmm. application. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how old these kids are. Probably young enough to go to. I think you're on the. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably right. All right, let's get to your projectile players here at Harmony. You start off with QZ from the Koala Kings. You got Virgo from the Miami Yikes. You have O from Sky Guardians. And Antagonize from Firefight. Then from Strix is Shady B. From the Flashbacks is Try. And then from Jersey Boys, Bento. And then, last but not least, from the Palm Beach Poggers is Dez. All right. Again, another loaded category. Thor, who's coming out on top here? Yeah, very, very, very much loaded. I had a tough time picking one out of this group. Um, But ultimately, I went with Dez just because I think they have a little bit more pop-off potential compared to the rest of the team than some of the other players do. But, like, some of the other names on here, like QZO, uh, you know, Virgo, Try, I mean, that they're... I wouldn't be surprised if any of these players end up bringing it out at the end of the year. So, but my pick for right now, my money's on Des. It's going to be big to see how the year wraps up for these guys and see how uh, the uh, season finishes. Cause that could really affect who ends up coming out on top here. All right, let's go to your flex supports now and uh, we'll kick it off here with from the big bang Buccaneers. You have Dahlia. <clears throat> from the Jetpack Cats is Vig. From the Koala Kings is Golden Apple Guy or Gag. Uh, from Miami Yikes, Just a Little Shy. From Chrysalis is Sunshine. From the Luminous Foxes, Color Form. From the Palm Beach Poggers is Exu. And last but not least, from the Vanguard Spartans, Sleepy G. All right. NPC, you are uniquely qualified for flex supports as well. Uh, can yes. you tell us who you're picking here? Uh, I'm picking I'm picking Exu. I'm picking Exu from Palm Beach Poggers. Uh, just the, the flexibility in just playing basically every kind of support hero. Uh, I, I've seen Exu pop off in, in numerous situations and just keep the team alive single handedly. And I feel like I feel like that's that's the carry potential right there is. I mean, if you're talking about a support, you're talking about somebody who's going to enable the team to get the kills they need and, you know, secure objectives, not just not just healing, but also with, you know, other things, anti nades and 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 discord orbs and and all that stuff. So I think Exu is definitely going to be my choice here for flex support. All right. And just a reminder, these are just our personal favorites, not the actual <clears throat> award winners. So don't don't fret. Don't fret at all. Our feelings. As uh, congratulations, XU. You won. Yeah, congratulations, XU. <laughs> uh, remember, <laughs> behind every good main tank is a great flex support. Don't forget yeah. it. True. 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 All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all true and happy over there. <laughs> nah. Nah. No, nah. No, it's, the, it's the great May player, right? Mm. Yeah. All right, anyways, uh, let's get to your main supports now. And starting off from the Big Bang Buccaneers is Potato. From the Miami Yikes, <clears throat> Eski Morris. From the Luminous Foxes is Cucumber. Go to the flashbacks. You can't see me. Then next, from the Jersey Boys is Kitty. Then you have Potty from the Palm Beach Poggers. From the Vanguard Spartans is Nibic. And then last but not least, from Boop is Dispel. All right. Uh, Apathy, who's coming out on top here? This was a really, really tough one because I think I have a favorite three and they all play different main supports that they're very, very good at. I ultimately went with Potty, kind of a Mercy specialist, but that team, the Palm Beach Packers, plays a lot of Farah. So Potty is constantly enabling Dez on the Fara and is pretty integral to the playstyle of that team. Uh, so I went with Potty. 
All right. Uh, most improved is your next category. And a lot of people ask, what does that mean? <clears throat> improvement over last season, improvement over whenever. It's kind of however you want it to mean. Improvement can be how they've improved over this season, how they've improved from last season. It kind of is however you want to define it. It's a pretty open-ended category. But here you go in Harmony tier is Bagel Friend from the Big Bang Buccaneers. Next is Sergeant Pepper from the Koala Kings. Then from Ragnarok Loki, it's Goose. From the, uh, from sorry, from Chrysalis is Order. Then from Flashbacks is Smoke. Next is Thirty Eight from Firefight. Then you have Ricky from the Palm Beach Poggers, and then you have <clears throat> BB Nikki from the Vanguard Spartans. <laughs> All right. Thug, who is the most improved player out of those nominees? You know, it's the, again, these are always tough because it, there's a lot of reasons to pick people. And I, I guess a BB Nikki has not improved at all. Your terrible kid, get get wrecked. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give this one. He's watching this. I mean, yeah, I know. I know, like, I know. Oh my I know. God. <laughs> I can't um, believe he would say that. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give this one to Bagel Friend. And been here for a few seasons now and seeing the growth for me over the over a few seasons is what i'm looking at and and she's done a really great job i mean two of you here are uniquely qualified to to agree with me um bagel's shown a lot of improvement throughout the season and throughout the past couple seasons so good job uh thumbs up definitely agree. bagel's on all right uh and also bagel play, played now uh, off tank and main sport Right. Or, and, and support for. Uh, so it's definitely the versatility there is awesome. All right. Did I say bagel weird? Bagel? Is that how they oh. say it in Minnesota? It's bagel. It's bagel. I have bagel. It's a bagel? bagel? It's like bagel. A, bagel. What's a bagel? Bagel. It's, it's bagel. <laughs> you got to use it. You got to use so right. -E. It's bagel. Bagel. Friend. <laughs> bagel friend. Bagel. You know what? I can. Uh, you Bogle know what, friend? Guys, guys, guys. We're a respectful community who respects the way that people speak. And the unique way that they talk, and even respects Thug. So, <laughs> even so, <laughs> let's even so bagel. <laughs> bagel. I lo I actually re you know what? I respect. It. All right, best coaches now in harmony tier. In harmony tier, coaching can make or break a team. We all know that when you're dealing with plats, having a good system behind them can make all the difference. Um, or or just having a good coach to recruit the right players to find those diamonds in the rough uh, in Harmony tier that tend to just lead to a successful team. Uh, anyways, your best coaches in the Harmony tier, start off from the Big Bang Buccaneers is Train. From Ragnarok Loki is Osi. From the Miami Yikes, NRG116. From Sky Guardians, Rock to Mars. From the Luminous Foxes is Seen. From the Flashbacks is Capital. From the Vanguard Spartans is Muffins. And last but not least, from the Fire Breathing Rubber Duckies, it's Night Night. Uh, Thor, who are you picking here, best coach? So I tried really, really hard this podcast not to play any biased. Um, so I could have I could have gone with OC here, um, but instead I went with what may be considered to be a bit of a hot take, and I went with Muffins for Vanguard here, because I'm taking a look at where this team was last season and how far they've come this season, and uh, you know Muffins being a Flying Lions alumni, and I don't believe he was with the organization last year, um, him being inserted into this org and giving them the stability and the structure that they need has obviously paid dividends for them. Um, so just looking at it on paper, I think adding muffins to that team really, really made a huge difference. It's a lot of good coaches here. So that I think this race is going to come down to a couple of votes separating who comes out on top for sure. All right, guys, that's it for harmony tier award nominees. Uh, we're going to mix it up here a little bit now. Uh, we have a couple of categories that aren't necessarily related to tiers. Uh, it's for people who contribute to the community. Um, we have two categories. One is to recognize your best casters on Twitch. Uh, that's for our match casting. Uh, and then another one is to recognize your best uh, contributors that are not on our staff. And then staff, that means moderators, uh, admins, so people like myself, NPC Thug, 
we wouldn't be considered for this category because, well, we're staff. It's expected that we do this stuff. Uh, but people who are volunteering their time don't have the recognition that it's staff. If it's just something as simple as being a part of the content creation team, being part of our editing team, uh, or just contributing to the overall atmosphere that makes Tranquility what it is. Uh, it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic group of people here. And uh, we're going to go now to recognize your best non-staff community contributor. Uh, we have 10 nominees in this category. Uh, and your nominees are uh, Bowsy, Thor, Ew. Really? Yeah, who? Uh, Laggy Fuck Son, Vela, Vila, Vila, Veya, Naisa, Gizmo Charmander, Bisquet, an Apathy, who? Who make a low? Yeah, then Delphi, and then last but not least is Juggle God. Thug, we have 10 fantastic contributors to the community here. Yeah. I'm asking you to pick your favorite child right now. I know. Thank you for giving me this one. I really appreciate it. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> like, you give it to me or Thor. I'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't have to pick. pick if you if you want to plead the fifth here. And... No, yep. there's just a lot of really good people. And I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to pick somebody. And this is purely because I know the torture that it was. Everyone's great. Everyone on this list deserves it. But Bowsy literally cast an admin pug night, which is just painful. You have to figure out what to talk about for five hours because it's not Overwatch. Because yeah. what was playing that night was not Overwatch. That was a weird FFA. And it was bad. So good job, Bowsy. Thanks for sticking it out, kid. Um, but also, everyone else is really good. And it's yeah, really all the other kid. nine people were robbed. Yeah, Just... honestly, robbed. <laughs> yeah. It, it's all of these people and so many more provided a ton to the community. There's there's not enough spots to to thank everybody, but uh, we narrowed it there down. Really to isn't. Those. There really isn't. There really isn't. So, uh, but we narrowed it down to those ten, and we're thankful for everything they've done uh, for the community this season. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll get some votes here. Uh, later on uh, in this uh, playoffs, and uh, we'll see who comes out on top for that. All right, guys, let's move to the Discord tier now. Discord tier, let's start it off with your best main tank. And we kick it off with CQ Chu from Echo Fleet, McRice from M Mark III, from Monarch, Lunar Emerald, from Paradise Lost, Azukari. From the Quaka Queens is Silent Sword. Silent Sword. From Ragnarok Fenrir, Thor. From Blood, <laughs> from sure. Reminiscence is Blood Hungry. And from the SEAL Team Spuds is Beppo. Uh, NPC, who is coming out on top in this very stacked category? Uh, you know, I'm uniquely qualified to talk about main tanks, and I'm going to tell you that mm. Reminiscence wouldn't be where they are without Blood Hungry. Uh, the, the, the Blood Hungry knows exactly how far to push that envelope and how low to take that health uh, so that supports glitch uh, can get in there and get that healing back up. And then just that, 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 that ultimate. I've got ultimate this fight. My support has ultimate next fight. I've got ultimate again the next fight after that. That's the way it should go. Blood Hungry does a perfect job of walking that line of aggression and kind of shielding the team and, and pulling back. There's a fine line there, and it's it's executed perfectly by Blood Hungry. All right, let's take it to the off tanks now in Discord tier. Started off with Classy Turtle from Domination. Then going back to Echo Fleet, you have Toxic. Next, from Mark. I'm sorry, from Lotus, pardon me, uh, was Gamma Rays, but that's actually changed. We'll get to that in a second. Tom Joe from Mark Three. Then you have Col uh, Harry Styles from Quaka Queens. Then you have Spectre from Sigma. <clears throat> you have DNA from Reminiscence. And then from Steel Team Spuds is Kiddo. Now, I know the thing said Gamma Rays there. If you paid attention to the roster transactions, Gamma Rays is no longer with Lotus as of today, so he's no longer <laughs> eligible for a reward. Or well, award. shit. 
So we picked the next person who was nominated, and that is Culture from Paradise Lost uh, is going to fill that slot in our nominations. Uh, but unfortunately, the video was already made, and I'll be damned if I was going to go back and fix it. True. No yeah, offense. Like Culture, you're great. <laughs> but I'm not going to go back and fix it. So <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. Just didn't have time. So. Uh, Apathy, who's coming on top here? Uh, I went with Harry Styles, formerly known as Remy, of course, of the Joseph Electronic Esports. I don't believe they won last season. Uh, I definitely think they're hungry, too, and they were uh, top off tank last season as well. So looking at them. All right, let's take it over to your hit scans now in the Discord tier. Hit scan nominees. We started off with Dab Master 66 from Domination. From Excalibur, the three time event week winner himself, Chief. From the Holy Jalapenos is Krev. From Paradise Lost is Lars. From the Quaka Queens is Matson. Then from Ragnarok Fenrir is Carlos. From Reminiscence is Seraph. And last but certainly not least, from the SEAL Team Spuds is Frosty. All right. Uh, I have to say, there are eight winners there. I'm blown away by the talent we have in hit scans. Uh, Thug, narrow it down. Who's coming out on top? Why do you hate me? <laughs> Damn it. I feel like you're punishing me. Um, <sighs> this one was so hard. Uh... I had like four names written down, and then I like basically picked one at random, and it was Chief. Um, I, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I don't pick two. <laughs> he's it's nuts, dude. But there's so many good hit scans in Discord tier, and most of them shot the top of my head off. Uh, yeah, I'm going Chief in this one. Kids cracked. Uh, thanks for hating me, Eddie. <laughs> all right projectile award nominees kick it off with a gap from domination then miko from echo fleet that new from lotus next going over to poseidon silent wraith next from the quaka queens is reborn then you have prim from ragnarok fenrir from Reminiscence is Asdo. And last from the SEAL Team Spuds is Nova. All right. Thor, who is coming out on top of this fantastic group? Yeah, I, uh, I totally bitched out here and took the easy pick with Asdo. Uh, I don't think anybody <laughs> me for that. But, um, you know, there, there are some other potentials in here that could give them a run for their money. Like uh, Miko is definitely in the running. Prim, Reborn. But, um, but yeah, I mean, Asdo just with the level at which you can play so many different heroes is just indispensable to that team. All right. Let's take it over now to your flex supports in the discord tier flex supports. We have Foxard from domination next from echo fleet. It's solely from the holy jalapenos is smarties from Lotus is pineapple bro. From Mark Three is Keb 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 Cake Keb Keb Cake. Uh, from Paradise Cupcake. Lost is Just go with it. Rigmadon. From Quaka Queens is Rocket. <clears throat> then from Reminiscence is Glitch. All right, there is your eight. Who's coming on the top here, NPC? Uh, oof. you know that's that's a that's a that's a real tough that's a real tough decision here. Um. <clears throat> I think I think in the end I'm gonna go with Soli, simply for keeping CQ Chu alive. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> well, bless yeah. you. That, but it, that, that it seems impossible. It seems impossible, yeah, right? That, you watch the play. And you're like, a, how did that, he live? Soli. That's the answer. All right, and now we go over to your main supports pardon me your main supports next and let's kick it off with Greninja from Echo Fleet from the Flying Lions is extra sharp from part three to Potato Lord 
from Mechanize is Lekka. From Paradise Lost is Ira. From actually Quaka Queens, ignore the area on the graphic. It's Killer Queen. <laughs> from Reminiscence is LCS. Smooth. And from Seal Team Spuds is your teammate. All right. Who is coming on top here? Apathy. It's a good group. It is a pretty good group. I, in the end, went with Leica from Mechanize. Um, mainly for the reason that I think Mechanize would be down like three wins without Leica. Yeah, that true. they are the glue yeah. that holds that yeah, team true. together. And even though it's a main support, like kind of carries them. So, <clears throat> yeah, Leica was my pick. Like is incredible, fantastic main support. Uh, let's go to your most improved players in Discord tier. Starting off with Yoon from Echo Fleet. Then you have Shimanzi from the Holy Jalapenos. Then Appa from Lotus. <clears throat> then Pegapants from Mechanize. Next, you have Neo from Paradise Lost. Then Gusty from Ragnarok Fenrir. Then LCS from Reminiscence. And then Nagisa from the SEAL Team Spuds. Thug, who is coming out on top of this group? Uh, this was a tough one. Um, I, I, originally, I originally thought Yoon. I was going to pick Yoon. But I figured if I did, Mika would probably like come after me. Check Twitter. Homie's down bad. And he, he it's really aggressive, and I, I can't do that. Um, I don't want to get in related. Like, I don't think he's down bad. I uh, never mind. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I don't think it's down it's, bad at this point. That's just normal. He could get it, worse. It, it could it could get it could get it it, it yeah. Don't, don't, it's gnarly. Don't, anyway, so don't I picked... underestimate Cameron. I'm just saying. <laughs> don't underestimate Cameron crew. Cameron crew. <laughs> um, I picked Nagisa. I think. Uh, Somebody that played support at a very, very high level for a lot of seasons in Tranquility. And switching over to DPS is not an easy thing to do. Um, I think she's done a really great job taking on the role, learning it as she goes. And she shows a lot of promise and a lot of... She's proven herself. And I'll say that she's, she's definitely playing at a Discord tier level DPS. And that's nothing to shake your head at. So, yeah. We're going to wrap it up with your coaches nominees in Discord tier. Let's start it off with Echo Fleet. We got Pyro. Next is Needle from the Holy Jalapenos. Next, you got Sussing from Paradise Lost. Zimzif from the Quaka Queens. From Ragnarok, Freya is Arnonymous. Then from Redacted, the Mormon. From Reminiscence is Capital. And last, but certainly not least, it's Polar from the SEAL Team Spuds. Thor, who is going to win this one? So I'm going to be honest here. Um, I did not know what to expect uh, of the SEAL Team Spuds coming into the season um, because they have kind of the same guts as uh, their team from Season 6. They had Beppo returning, Kiddo returning, your teammates still there. And then they had a bunch of unknown factors coming in. You have Nagisa off-rolling, and then you have two, new, two other new DPS and a new flex support. Um, so behind putting that hot mess together is polar and uh and i think you know with what yeah. the seal team spuds has been able to do this <clears> season <throat> I, I think he earned it hands down i agree polar goaded all right and that's that that's pure bias coming in for the record so just <laughs> yeah. so we can relate we know that. we know yeah, just so i can yeah, didn't that. even pay me to say that yeah, yeah, yeah anybody but capital it's true that's, it's it's pure it's bias. true it's anyone but cap anyone but yeah. cap anyone but cap um, all right, we're going to go to Transcendence here in just a moment, but first we're going to do your best casters this season. We got eight nominees. We're going to recognize the casters that have contributed so much to our Twitch production this season. Uh, started off with Worst Casts, which not that's not a fair thing to say. Time Monster. Then you have Bowsy. Next is Juggle God. User Intel. Me. <laughs> Cat and Jack. And Vol Nalo. 
the good crew there, <clears throat> including myself. Uh, chat, I mean, um, Skybox is literally calling. I, I don't understand why Skybox loves me so much. I really don't. Somebody please help me understand it. Um, I didn't they, even know you were. An you're the only one that caster. ever cheered for them. Picked, I thought you, you were a TFT caster. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you guys do this. I'm not Overwatch casting anymore. I'm just TFT casting. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I don't understand. Uh, Skybox confuses me, but I love it. Uh, it makes me it makes me laugh. <laughs> um, uh, but anyways, NPC, who's your who? Who do you think is going to win this one? Uh, you know, best caster. <clears throat> I, I watch a lot of the broadcasts and. I, I'm I'm gonna give it to Juggle God here. Um, like the man is an entertainer at his core. He shows yeah. up every single cast with the suit, you know, the crazy gaming related suit and tie, the mustache, and wax. the mustache, and it just he's he's <laughs> he he's great. got he's got the personality and he lets it shine. He's got he's got great you know much better uh, mm. analogies than Thug. And and better metaphors and and just you know he's 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 got all these great ad libs he's he's just he's a master at improv he just he really you you come for Overwatch but you stay for Juggle God and the performance that he delivers every single cast that he's on is mm -hmm. immaculate and uh, I I got to give it to Juggle God Juggle God is kind of a remarkable caster really mm -hmm. lucky that we have him aboard uh, to be quite honest I think. Very soon, we're just going to be too small for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, just to be perfectly honest with you, uh, <clears throat> the sky's the limit for him. He's going to go miles in this industry uh, because I don't think there's anybody who I've ever worked with that has taken casting as more of a serious thing. Right. He doesn't show up and wing it. He has right. notes before every broadcast. He and he crafts a story from start to finish. Mm -hmm. He knows what he's going to talk about and where it's going to end up. Mm -hmm. And it's... He's fantastic, right. and if you watch him on Wednesdays, because when he's usually casting is on Wednesdays, it's he's truly it it it's deserved. It, it's and that's not a slight on anybody else in here, but just like Juggle God, he takes it to the H N L. Yes, a whole I'm just saying level. Juggle God is an absolute treasure, and uh, mm -hmm. we're very fortunate to have him here. So. Actually, go to juggler too. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yes, sure. yes. <laughs> Absolutely not. Juggler. And we're not playing <laughs> not on that. Did he, did he juggle His knives already juggle on God. Wednesday's broadcast? His we name is not a coincidence. I don't, I don't know. Has he juggled knives? We need to check on that. But, uh, uh, he either juggled them last week, or he's going to juggle knives on broadcast yes. this week. He's as, nuts, as a reward dude. Yes. For when do we say juggle? Uh, when do we say juggle? God, when he says juggle, God, it's not just like an, like oh, he can juggle a few balls around or whatever. He's actually like a national world championship level juggler. Like mm -hmm. he's there's there's juggle wiki. He's yes, on there. He's on. Yeah. There. No lie. He's on there. He <laughs> performed on Letterman. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> like it's not <laughs> right. Like the guy First is actually on Liquipedia and Jugglepedia. Yes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Juggle.fandom.com. Yes, Liquipedia and Jugglepedia. It's gonna happen. Kids cracked. So. I love it. But no, Juggle God's wonderful. He's been amazing since he joined here, and I I I stand Juggle God just as much as I stand Skybox. So, um, all right, let's get to your transcendence tier nominees now, guys. Uh, we'll wrap it up here with uh, starting off with main tank. You got Luxmith from Alpha. Then from Battalion is Telm. Then from the Decapitators is Truth. From the Devil Dukes is Cam. From Dirt is Dadpegger, which is just a name. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You have Andy from God Hand. And Karma from Shockwave. And last but not least is Matrix from the SS Cuttlefish. All right. NPC, who is your favorite? First of all, I have to know, how did Telm make it on this list? I'm just kidding, bro. I love you, dude. Uh, it's actually I, I I'd be amiss if I if I didn't go anybody but Andy. Uh, Andy, you know, runs that team into the ground and uh, does does a great job and plays main tank like nobody's business. So, God hand, they are where they are because of Andy. No question. Let's go to your off tanks now. We have uh, that shouldn't say Luxmith. That should say O Canada. Sorry about that. Uh, then you have Train from uh, Amnesia. Anima from Decapitators. Abraxas from the Devil Dukes. You have Jack from Dirt. 
From God Hand, Mammoth Man 65. From Manifest is Neapolitan. And then from Ragnarok Odin is AMFM. All right, Apathy, who's winning this one? Uh, I allowed myself one thing of bias today. I am on the train train. <laughs> I love train. All right, That's it. brilliant, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant analysis as always. Let's go to okay. your hits. let's go to your hit scans now. Uh, starting off with cosine from Alpha. You got dragon from Amnesia. From the decapitators is Caribidus. From the Devil Dukes is Laser. From God Hand, oh, sorry, that's Canlysis, pardon me, from NYAA. Then from God Hand is Orsted. Then from Shockwave mm-hmm. is Nyx. And then from Ragnarok Odin is Arnonymous. Who's winning this one, Thug? Um, I, I went with. I went with Orsted. Um, even with all the nerfs that Briggs have Briggs has taken over the years, he's still finding a way to get it done. Number one, Brig main. Hits can Brig. Hits can Brig. Trank history. Just watch the tapes, kids. Watch, watch the, the tapes. tapes. It's true. Watch the tapes. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Check the VODs. Let's get to your projectile DPS here. You got Rin from Alpha. Then going over to Amnesia is Polar. From Battalion, I'm sorry, from, it's Decapitators, pardon me, is Smugs. From Battalion is Pro Gamer. Next, from from Dirt, I'm just going to say Vanguard, not not track. Uh, From God Hand is Dog, GDH. From Skybox is Gimmick. And from SS Cuttlefish is Ceruleum. All right. Skybox is up in arms over the person that got picked on their team. <laughs> and I love wow. it. Wow. And I absolutely love it. All right, well, I'll take them off the list and uh, <laughs> go. All right, perfect. All right, uh, who's winning this one? Thor. Um, so I went with <clears throat> another one where people will probably think uh, that Yeti paid me off to say this, but uh, we didn't give him any love in the podcast earlier on in the year. Um, when we had an opportunity to, so I wanted to give Smug some love here. Um, again, even though you have others that could definitely fit in, um, you know, you got Polar and Dog and, you know, but again, um, I think I like to give credit where it's due, uh, and Smug definitely deserves this. Who? All right, no. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Smug>. <laughs> All right, Smugs. And just to clarify, because I see people like, what did I, I didn't have a vote in this. I didn't vote. You can ask the people in the committee. I didn't have a vote. So the committee voted for, for these people. Uh, flex support next. And let's go to that here now. Uh, we have Heart from Alpha. We have Capital from Amnesia. From the Decapitators is Deputy Boss. Why does that? Why is Pro Gamer there? That is not correct. <laughs> then you have Zoner from NYAA. Wow, I clearly did this in under some sort of inebriation or something. You have Ice from God Hand. You have Dwang from Ragnarok Odin. And you have Gilly from the SS Cuttlefish. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be Pro Gamer. It was actually supposed to be George Lopez from Dirt. I don't know how that happened, but it did, and you're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> So it was actually George Lopez from Dirt getting that spot. So so sorry like about dirt. that. And I do like Dirt as well. Uh, NPC, who's your favorite here? Uh, you know, my favorite, I got to go with the D-Wang gang. I mean, uh, Dwayne just continuously popped off last season. Fantastic support. And now moved over to, to, to Ragnarok Org and is playing there with Odin. And uh, once again, when, when you're pocketing a feeder, uh it's 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 you know that's 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 how you get to be top flex support is uh poor OC. Peter. poor oc he's not even here to defend himself <laughs> he's in the chat somewhere he's in the him. chat and he's just like oh come on npc yeah. <laughs> you're you're one to talk <laughs> well about i didn't see him on the list for main tanks <laughs> just saying Oops. i didn't see i mean i technically i didn't see you on the list for main tank either i wasn't on a team <laughs> you are right now well technically but <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Anyway, hey, you're talking to the three time back to back to back. That can't do. <laughs> I love it. Actually, it's brilliant. All right, let's take it to your main supports now, guys. Main supports in Transcendence tier: Palico Master from Alpha. <laughs> then you have Cry from Amnesia. Delphi from the Decapitators. <clears throat> Jack Rabbit from Corvidity. Tetra from NYAA. Then Boredom from God Hand. Slimy Rose from Ragnarok Odin. And from Shockwave is Matthew. All right. Who's coming out on top of this one, Apathy? Uh, we've had a surprising lack of alpha players. And, uh, I mean, even before looking at that, I already put Palico Master. Uh, just very good on all main supports for one of the top tier trans tier teams, you know. It's just a uh, undeniable favorite for the main support there, I think. All right. And we go to most improved in Transcendence tier next. And we start with Karkinos from Manifest, <clears throat> Train from Amnesia, then Deputy Boss from Captators. Turtle OW from Skybox. Lazuli from NYAA. Pineapple Taco from Whirlwind Wildcats. Wang from Odin. And Garrett from Shockwave. All right. Who's winning this one, Thug? Um, the person I picked for this one has a name. Starts with a T. Hard shell. It's a train, guys. I picked train. I'm on the train gang. Sorry, turtle. Uh, you got debated <laughs> hard. Oh, oh god. Got him. Freaking got, got him. No, train is done. Uh, <laughs> the improvements been kind of crazy. I am with apathy here. I'm on the train gang, and let's get it. I'm he sorry, skipped turtle. Skipped a tear. He skipped a tear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, and we're going to wrap it up here for the night with the best coach in Transcendence tier. We have Mick Jr. 10, who coaches both Alpha and Shockwave, so there's both there. Uh, then GLD from Amnesia. Ons from the Decapitators. You have Born from Bird Society Ibis. Next is Phone from the Devil Dukes. Maybe next time from Dirt. Rocket for GDH. And last is Gambit from NYAA. All right. Thor, wrap it up here. Who is going to come out on top? So I went ahead and gave it to Gambit uh, for Not Your Average Academy. Um, if you guys can't tell, I'm a little bit of a Nia simp. Um, I see but, that. Yeah. Oh. Um, but if you know the backstory, <laughs> like this team moved up from Discord tier, obviously. Um, comes in with, they have to pick up more than half of their team that they lost in new players. They need a new main tank, new flex support, or new flex DPS, um, you know, new hit scan. Um, Drowsy didn't even know if he was going to play um, coming into the season. And then at the last second, they end up submitting a team and putting all these new players together um, into a system that's been proven to work um, that, you know, Gambit kind of set for for this organization um, starting in season six. Um, it proves to be effective in trans tier as well. So got to give it to Gambit. All right, guys, that is the end of your end of season award nominees. We will narrow it down and announce the top three and the winners for each of these awards coming up here in about three or so weeks. So stay tuned to the Iris here as we kick through the playoffs, guys, and uh, we'll get your award nominees. And just because you didn't get nominated for this doesn't necessarily mean you won't be up for All-Stars later this season. So stay tuned for that when we talk about the All-Star games for each tier. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, y'all. And we're going to wrap it up here with some announcements and then talk about some programs left for this week. Then we got our drawing, and then we'll call it a day. So we start off again next week, guys. We have a big podcast. In fact, it's so big that we are merging with – predicting tranquility next week for our bracketology mega cast 
You're going to have five of us on here, and we will be predicting the entirety, the entirety of all three tiers brackets beginning to end next week on Monday. So tune in. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a big broadcast, and uh, we're going to have a good time. And I think we might have a little special giveaway for those who tune in for that cast. So something to uh, think about there as well. Uh, next week we have on, I'm sorry, later this week, again, tonight, no predicting tranquility. Unfortunately, Booth had another co uh, commitment rise up. So he unfortunately could not host tonight. Tomorrow we have coach's corner after the feature match, the feature match, of course, being the matchup between firefight and, uh, chrysalis. chrysalis. And then next on Wednesday, you have the Dis or transcendence here feature match. That is Corvidity taking on the Platt Laws. And then Thursday, you have the beat drop following our, our Discord tier feature, the final match of this season. The Discord teacher, I'm sorry, the Discord tier feature, of course, being something I forgot and will now check now because I am prepared. <laughs> so prepared. That is Mark Three and Lotus. So. Uh, tune in for those guys. Get your channel points and get into our giveaway. Speaking of giveaways, NPC, hmm. time to give away. Giveaway. Sure. All right, let's get a random number generator, please. And our winner is Thug's favorite non-staff contributor, Bowsy. There's winning that free shirt. shirt from the Tranquility merch store. You can get your own shirt at shop.spreadshirt.com slash show Oh, one just more like, time. I need to get it. Like one more time. One more time. One more time. Shop. Okay. Spreadshirt. Okay. 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 Dot com. Okay. Yep. Slash show Tranquility. Or exclamation mark store in the oh. chat. Oh, well, that's you can handy. Just type, you can just type that. Yeah, just type store. store. Oh, not, not, shop. not shop capital. You idiot. It, close. No, oh, yeah. There it is. D, D colon, everybody. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, See, that's why that's why you're not gonna win any of these awards. QQs in the chat. <laughs> um no, seriously. Uh congratulations to that. You can buy your own shirts, like dead teams, like this one. This is True. Nugget. True. Uh he's a ghost and he's from a dead team, so it's like a double entendre. Uh and it's spooky month. So or you can get a, a, a team that's completely underrated and overlooked, like uh like uh, luminous foxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. or or just a low key tank top or a tank you know? top. Yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want to be a little low key, <laughs> I'm so short uh, you can't see it. <laughs> so oh, guys, wait. my hair. Make sure to check out. <laughs> there the you go. Make sure to check out the Tranquility Store. We thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow night with our feature match. But for Thug, Apathy, NPC, and Thor, I'm Mr. Yeti. We appreciate you gazing into the iris with us tonight, and we'll see you again soon. Experience tranquility. Pass into the iris.